Yo yo, it is not your average tree man. Now, our husky's in pieces. The echo's just broke. It's probably not the right time to test that controversial debate of uh, is drilling holes in your bar a good idea or not? But here we are. I'm not your average tree man. We're gonna give it a go. We're gonna make our own super light custom pump bar. Why are we doing this? Now, light bars with milling, popularised by Still and Sugihara, what they do, they mill out holes and then fill them with epoxy. That's exactly what we're going to do. We drill out some holes, we're going to cut between them, get the Dremel on them, make it all nice and neat, and then uh, shove in some milliput epoxy. Then we'll sand it all really nice and flush, nice and polished. Should be significantly lighter than when we started. I did forget to weigh it before I started putting holes in it. So there ain't no point in giving you any figures here. I'll just tell you whether it's, it's lighter or not. Obviously, we're not taking that much metal out and we're putting more weight in with the epoxy, but we need that so that as we're cutting, it doesn't pick up dust from the underside of the cut and clog up all these holes and create friction. There were bars made in the past, like going back, I don't know, 50s, 60s, that kind of era, where they were milled out and just left blank big holes in the bars uh, for this exact reason to save weight um, and they found that that was what was happening they were picking up dust sawdust and chips off the bottom uh, clogging up and creating more friction so then let's get our dremel on damn fast. As I say, these bars, they are rock hard. They are fully hardened. Um, so yeah, you are not going to get through this without grinding, carbide, that kind of thing. Now you might think I'm not being particularly neat about this, but I am a bit of a whiz with one of these and a die grinder. Um, so yeah, we're gonna tidy all these up with some carbide burrs, some regular carbide burrs, uh, in a moment. Um, and yeah, as I say, once we polish this up, you won't even know that there's holes in there, so don't worry about not being neat, because uh, we're gonna fill it all with epoxy, remember? Let's keep going. throw this out there. Don't do this. Bad idea. But we've come this far, so you know we've got to carry on now, haven't we? Yeah, people are gonna ask why are you doing this? I don't know. Um but genuinely, if it was cost effective for these guys to do it, they would have still do it. Um Samara, um Sugihara, you know, Husky, everybody does this. But you've got to be producing it on that big scale to, uh, to make it cost effective. Um, so yeah, definitely experiment territory, not recommended. And this is really tearing up my expensive die grinding carbide burrs. I'll actually show, I'll show you some close-ups. It's destroying them, I've gone through two now. But yeah, don't do this. Also, I'd probably recommend not being a complete spanner and taking it off of your saw as well and away from all the parts of your other saw that's in pieces. Idiot. Rethinking this, we're actually pretty close to where we want to be, especially when we look at it from that side that I just flipped it over to. So, we're going to stick it in the engineer's vise and go from there.
go then, we've filled all the holes and gouges with some of that milliput. We're going to uh, let it set and then sand it down so it's all nice and flush and polished. Um, and yeah, major weight savings, minimal outlay, see how it goes. So we've let that set overnight. Um, we're going to, uh, well, I don't know how we're going to do this actually. We're going to start by planing this down and then we'll sand it smooth. Let's do it. This is working a treat. looking pretty good what we're gonna do we're gonna mix up some normal regular two-part epoxy or maybe even use just some uh, some CA glue because there's a few bits where it's just kind of tore out as we've been sanding it flat um, and then we'll just sand it again with a uh, with a lighter grit and we should be good to go This is the special sauce. High coat, extreme heat, clear. A couple of coats of this, it won't last forever, but I guarantee your paint job on your bar will last a hell of a lot longer than if you just paint it and don't use this. Promise you. There we go then, custom lightweight panther bar. Stupid experiment, no point in doing it. But it did work, it is much lighter. Um, you can just feel it. Not got any numbers for you, but yeah, definitely works. Definitely lighter, just uh, massively cost ineffective. However, now we need to dress the bar, redress the bar, in case any kind of paint or uh, clear coat went over. Um, and then we're good to roll, so uh, I'll get on with that, and I'll see you guys next time.